Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tarif Khamilin and I'm a hobby chef. I made dead bulls the last time if you can remember, but this time I'm going to make you uh, one of my special dishes which is a steak casserole. Uh, this is one of my favorite dishes. My grandchildren do love it, you know. I, when I make this, you know, and then they say I must put on lots of mashed potato, which is also one of the ingredients that's with my uh, steak casserole. For this uh, steak casserole, I have the following ingredients, which is the steak, my steak and chops masala, my pepper steak masala, and also barbecue masala. And uh, then I have the mazina, I have other spices, which is the cloves and allspice, and my onion and my oil for the for the onions, to braise the onions, and I also have the chutney, which uh, goes with my uh, ingredients, and also I have the veggie uh, uh, spices here too. Then I have my veggies, my hilo rice with sultanas, and my mashed potato, beetroot, my nutmeg, and soy sauce. Those are all my ingredients that goes for this dish. Now I'm going to show you how this casserole dish is being done. With my first thing that I'm going to do is put the oil in, and with my onions and braise that, and that is the first step that I'll do. So I'm going to go over here and put my. So now I'm going to wait until that is now braising there, and now I'm going to start with my mixing of my marination of my steak for the for my dish this is my steak and chops masala my pepper steak masala my barbecue masala and also my chutney which i'm going to put in there with that and i also have a little bit of soy sauce and that is we mix it all together while my meat is, while my, my onions are braising on the other side. So we mix this all together. I'll show you now as you can see what it's like. So that is ready to go in, but I first have to check on my onions. Ah, now I've seen my onions are nice and brown, which is now the time for me to add my marinated steak. So I'll do that now. Okay, now I add some more water and that is so that your steak doesn't burn and I will also add now my the rest of my spices which is my allspice and my cloves. Now we close the pot and that like I said before they can have their conversation again now. I have some freshly cut rosemary which is one of my favorite herbs that I also like to put in my dish. So I'm going to add this to my dish now, which gives it a very lovely flavor. Here you are. That's it. So, like I said, they will all have their conversation together there. That's going to take about 30 minutes to be completed. But in the meantime, I will tell you about my sweet yellow rice. Sweet yellow rice is, consists of my two cups of rice, two teaspoons of salt, and also my cinnamon and cardamom. And what I also love to put in there is the sultanas, which makes it also a little bit more sweeter. So, that is what I do. So, when you boil your rice for your your sweet yellow rice, you also add, to get it the color of the yellow, you can take the tip of your teaspoon and put some saffron in, or if you don't add saffron, you put turmeric. So that will give you your color of your yellow rice. And you boil that, and 
until it's soft and then you wash it off and over. You know the rest, you know the drill, how it's done. Then I have my mashed potato, which I cut up in cubes and I boil it in the microwave until it's nice and soft and I mash it. I add a bit of butter to soften it, but also to give it a nice puffy uh, texture, I add milk with it and then I mash it and that's it. That is how I do it. So this is when my dish is done, I put this on top of my casserole and do that. So now we're gonna see how our food is going on. What is they talking all about here? So do this. I oh, know this is lovely. It's just this is hmm. This aroma. It's too much. This aroma is too much. This can cook now until it's done. Then we also have our veggies here, which I add to my dish when my dish is finished. When I plate it, I put it on my yellow rice, I mash with my casserole and my veggies, and that is how I plate my dish. My next step of my process is I'm going to mix my mazina with a little bit of water, which is about a quarter cup of water, and uh, I mix that to my my steak and just that is just to thicken the sauce a bit because you don't like when you dish up that you have a runny sauce uh, so that is what I'm going to do now uh, I have my water and you take about two spoons of mazina you add that and you stir it before you put it into your pot All right, now I'm going to add this Now I turn down the heat, so this can slowly boil, cook now further and thicken my sauce in my dish. The sauce is thickened now, so now I'm going to get my dish and I'm going to start plating it and complete it now for you. Hmm, lovely. As you can see, it's nicely done. Oh, this is going to be divine. Whoever's going to stay for lunch is going to enjoy it. I can promise you that. Now I'm going to top my steak with the... with my mashed potato. I love doing this with a fork. You see, quite nice. There we are. A little bit of topping of nutmeg to finish it off. And there you are. You have your dish. Now that it's ready, I can put it in the oven and have the top a little bit brown. So then your dish will be complete. There we are, so just for a little while and then we can have our lunch. Now that my steak casserole is in the oven, I'm going to boil my veggies, which will be for the final a state of my dish. Right, uh, that can boil there on one side. My dish is ready to come out of the oven now, so I'll just take it out of the oven and we'll see what it looks like. Wow, that is nice. This is nice. Right, so now we have the completed casserole with the yellow rice and that, and I'll just get my veggies now. Here we are. That is our complete dish. 
there you have it, my dish, a steak casserole with yellow rice and veggies. For more on this, you can find it on cookhalal.com. And uh, all the best for you for Ramadan. Have a Ramadan Kareem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.